Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Blackburn here for our writing lesson. Today we will be working on opinion essays from the story works. Let's go ahead and begin. All right, do manners matter? Some people think manners are becoming a thing of the past. Should we care? Writing an opinion essay. Our learning goal. Students can develop an engaging opinion essay with supporting facts and details to support their opinion. Your success criteria. I can, can successfully write a five paragraph opinion essay with an introduction, supporting details, and conclusion. All right, let's go ahead and begin with the article. Okay, so you can see this is an, this is an opinion writing. You are going to need to take a side, but first we need to read through the article. This is a debate. Directions. Read the article, then complete the chart on the next page. Do manners matter? Some say being polite is becoming a thing of the past. Should we care? By Talia Cowan. I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see closer. Here's a scene you might be familiar with. Your family is sitting around the dinner table but no one is paying attention to the steaming plates of spaghetti in front of them. Your older sister is taking a selfie with her food for Instagram. Your dad is busy picking salad out of his teeth. Your mom is responding to work emails. Oh, and your little brother just let out a huge disgusting burp. And as usual, that burp wasn't followed by an excuse me. Several examples of bad manners are displayed at this dinner table. And scenes like this are happening across America. A whopping 74% of Americans think that people are getting ruder overall. But is that such a bad thing? In the age of texting and TikTok, do manners even matter anymore? The purpose of politeness, manners are a set of rules for how people treat each other and act when they're together. According to experts, manners show others that you respect and care about them. Let's move this over a little bit. Whether you're holding the door open for someone, giving up your seat for an old elderly person, or simply saying please and thank you, good manners make, some, make other people feel good. They put people at ease, says Alex J. Whoops says Alex J. Packer, author of the Manners Guide, How Rude. On top of making others happy, manners can also help keep them healthy. By covering your mouth when sneezing or coughing, you protect people around you from getting sick. What could be more caring than that? And having good manners isn't just good for others. It's also good for you. Studies have shown that kids with good manners grow up to be more successful adults. They get higher grades in school and impress people more easily. Silly rules. Some people argue, but some people argue that many manners are a waste of time, that they're annoying and make it take longer to get important things done. Your days are already full of homework, after school activities, and time with your family. You can't spend precious minutes figuring out the proper way to fold a napkin. Besides, our society has become more casual. We send texts instead of handwritten cards. We say no prob instead of you're welcome. It's not that people don't care about each other. It's just that the way we act is less formal than in the past. Practicing tra traditional manners might make you feel old fashioned, even kind of dorky. And think about the serious problems the world is facing today. War, disease, and pollution, to name just a few. Does it really matter if you have your elbow on the table or loudly slurp your soup? Manners may not seem like a big deal. Still, some say you can't go wrong by being polite. It's time for you and everyone else, too. Okay, so um, let's take a look back at the article. 
what I want us to do right now is we are going to look back into the article and we are going to determine whether some of these things in the article are facts and statistics, quotes, or just some examples. So let's start over here with this one. Several, oh, right here. Oh, and your little brother just let out a huge disgusting burp. And as usual, that burp wasn't followed by an excuse me. So we have our quotation marks here. So since there's quotation marks, we know that that is a quote, good. So we would say that that part right there is a quote and we'll save that, okay. And then if we go down here, several examples of bad manners are on display at the dinner table. A whopping 74% of Americans think that people are getting ruder over all. Uh, if we have 74% of Americans think that people are getting ruder over all, that would be a fact or a statistic. So we have a sticky note here and it's a statistic for the 74%. It doesn't tell us where that information came from, but it is a fact or a statistic. Okay, so let's move over here. And it says, manners are a set of rules for how people treat each other and act when they're together. See, that would be a fact, okay? That is a fact. They are a rule because it gives us a definition there. Manners are a set of rules for how people treat each other and act when they're together. It doesn't give an opinion either way. It just gives a definition of what manners are. And then over here we have, according to experts, manners show others that you respect and care about them. So experts that they have consulted have given um, the definition once again for what manners are and what they do. So that's more of a statistic or a fact that they've given us again. So that's what that would be. And then over here at the bottom, on top of making others happy, manners can also help them with keep them healthy by covering your mouth when sneezing or coughing. You protect people around you from getting sick. So we know that, especially with all of the precautions that we've had to take for COVID-19 about covering our mask, our mouths and keeping the masks on uh, when we go in public and when we're around people and the six feet apart. So uh, we know that is definitely a fact. So that's what that would be. That would be a fact there. So that is a fact. So we can see that this article has lots of facts, statistics, and examples, not so many quotes. Okay, so now we get into the section about silly rules. Let's see what we have here. But some people argue that many manners are a waste of time, that they're annoying and make it take longer to get important things done. Okay, that's an example. Okay, that's an example of what is wrong with manners. Besides, our society has become more casual. We send texts instead of handwritten cards. We say no prob instead of you're welcome. What do you think that is? Yes, that's another example, okay? We also have some facts in there. Um, we do send texts instead of handwritten and cards, right? That is, that is definitely a fact. Um, there are also examples that are mixed in with that. So you could go either way with that one. Um, practicing traditional manners might make you feel old fashioned, even kind of dorky. We have another example there. And think about the serious problems the world is facing today. War, disease, and pollution, to name just a few. So do we have war, disease, and pollution? Are those problems? Yes, those are. So that would be a fact. But then we have, does it really matter if you have your elbow on the table or loudly slurp your soup? That's an opinion. So we have facts, then we have opinions, right? And then we end up with manners not, may not seem like a big deal. Still, some may say you can't go wrong by being polite. It's better for you and everyone else too. So then we end with the opinion. So just based on those, what would you say the author of this article leans toward? Would you say that the author leans towards having good manners or not having good manners? If he ends the article 
or she ends the article with manners may not seem like a big deal. Still, some say you can't go wrong by being polite. It's better for you and everyone else too. Yes, I would definitely agree that the author seems to kind of lean towards using your manners. Who has the stronger side? We have yes, maintain manners and no manners are maddening. So what you're going to do here in a little bit is you are going to go through this article and this is what you'll be doing on your own. You will make a chart and it says, yes, maintain manners. You're going to find the specific examples throughout the article that would be in favor. You need to find at least three. Yes, maintain manners that are in favor of maintaining manners. And then find three that are on the opposite viewpoint. No, man, manners are maddening. No, we, we don't need those. So they have to come from the article, not your head, but specific examples from the article. All right. Then it says to study the points on both sides of the argument and think about your own opinions. State your opinion in one sentence below. It can become the thesis statement for an opinion essay on this topic. We'll talk about how to write a thesis statement in just a minute. All right. So first, let's kind of, I want to get you started on how to create this T-chart here. So let's do that. Okay. So just like in the article you saw, here's the chart. And then here's an example of what you would write. So you'd write, yes, maintain manners on one side. No manners are maddening. And then simply write your one, then you'll have, you'll skip a few lines and then write two, and then skip a few more, write three, okay? So you need to have three for each one. Those are going to be your three points in your essay for either way, okay? So now let's look in the article here. So the first part is yes, maintain manners. So we're going to look in the heading part that says, the purpose of politeness, correct? Okay, so let's look over here. Zoom in a little bit more. Manners are a set of rules for how people treat each other and act when they're together. According to experts, manners show others that you respect and care about them. So if for the part that says, yes, manners matter, I would write, Manners show others you zoom in on that care and respect them. Okay, you see how I got that directly from the article, and then it also goes on this side, right? Now, next I would find two more reasons to support this side. Then next I would go over to the other side of the article and find things that would go on this part that says no manners are maddening, and that would go under silly rules. So I'd look under that heading and that part of my article to find out things that would support this side. Even if I agree with silly manners or main, to maintain manners, I still need to find three things or three things, three parts from the, from the author and from the article to go on each side. I need to have three things from each side, no matter where my opinion is. All right. I hope everyone understands that clearly. Now, once you get that finished, it says to look at what you wrote down and decide which side you're on to write your thesis statement. So let's go back in the PowerPoint and look at what exactly a thesis statement is, okay? So a thesis statement is going to go in your introductory paragraph. It includes the topic, right? The topic of what your opinion essay your paper is going to be about. It includes your opinion. 
and then it includes your three reasons your your three reasons for having that opinion so here's an example of a thesis statement manners are important because they make people feel more comfortable keep you healthier and make people more successful okay so here you can see manners is the topic and then these are my three reasons that came from the text so this is a really important thesis statement because this is what my entire paper is going to be about that's why it's called a thesis statement okay so you have to have that written down as well and you can simply write that down so once you have and this will be a puzzle piece so I'll create a puzzle piece so you have your t-charts and then you have your three opinions on this side, your three opinions on this side, and then I'll have a spot for your thesis statement. Okay, so you can submit that as well. Okay, so let's kind of review this in summary. An opinion essay includes supporting facts and details to support your opinion. It includes a plan with details from both sides and a thesis statement. An opinion essay includes research with facts and details. It also includes an introduction, supporting paragraphs, and a conclusion. So just to kind of wrap this up, have we written our entire uh, opinion essay yet? No. This is the first stage. We've read our article. You will be needing to take a side on yes, manners matter, or no, manners do not matter anymore. So after reading the article and pulling evidence through, you'll need to make your opinion. Then you will need to create a thesis statement. The thesis statement is the topic, your opinion, and then three reasons to support your opinion that come from the article. It can't come from your head. It has to come from the article because you need to have that evidence to support your reasoning. Okay, then throughout this week, we're going to then start developing this essay. We're going to start with our introductory paragraph, then we'll start working on the body, and then we'll end up with the conclusion. All right, so good luck. Make sure that you do not fall behind because if you do, you are going to have quite a challenging time trying to write a five paragraph par um, essay, opinion essay, all at one time and it's going to be very difficult to catch up. So make sure that you're doing a good job of doing this in little chunks and little pieces each day. All right, if you have any questions, reach out to your teachers and be sure to uh, rewind the video, play it again, take notes as you're watching and um, your teachers will be here to help you. Have a wonderful day, bye-bye.